Exasol's import and export commands allow for importing and exporting data. For example, you can easily import tables from another database using JDBC, or you can import data from a CSV file that is stored on a server or locally on your computer. Let's take this customer's table here, which is currently empty. Now we can write import into customers from. Exa stands for another Exasol database, and Aura uses the native interface to import from Oracle. But let's say we want to import from a MySQL database, for example, so we use JDBC. We already created a so-called connection object to our MySQL database. It consists of the database URL, the username and the password. So we can simply say at MySQLCon. The last thing that is missing is the name of the table that we want to import, table customers. Now the customers table from the MySQL database is imported into our Exasol table. Another example. Let's import customers from a CSV file. The file is stored on an SFTP server. It looks like this. We have multiple values in each row separated by a semicolon. When we write from CSV at, we can now use a connection object again. But it's also possible to directly write the server URL, the username and password here. In the file clause, we write the path to the file. The import command provides a lot of options. For example, for our CSV file, we need the option column separator equals semicolon. It overwrites the default column separator, which is a comma. Three rows were imported. If the file you want to import is not stored on a remote server, but on your local machine, for example on your Windows laptop, write from local CSV file and then the path to the file. 